Ariel over here at Fineth. Today what I'm making is one of the probably simplest soups I ever make. And I love various varieties of soup and it is, um, especially when it's cold and chilly, and today it classifies for cold and chilly. It's not actually snowing, but it is, well, it's not actually snowing right on me, it's snowing above me. And it's been just damp and gray here all day. So what I'm putting in here first is my turkey bone broth, which if you wanna know how to make that, go to the cooking playlist and find that one. But I'm gonna do four pints of broth in here actually. And then I like to get everything out of here. So get a little bit of water and rinse all my containers out with that. There you go. So I've got broth in there. Now this, this soup is extremely quick and doesn't have many ingredients. The uh, next thing I'm doing is potatoes. You could use any variety you prefer. These in particular are Yukon Golds, but you could do whatever. They're just one of my favorites. I love their creamy gold um, texture. And I'm just cutting them into bite-sized chunks to go in here. This soup also doesn't take very long to cook, unlike the bean soup or some of those. This one can be ready about however fast your potatoes get soft. That's why I'm putting them in first, because they will take longer than the other ingredients. But you could uh, have this ready to eat in like 15 minutes or so. This soup, because of the potatoes in it, people always ask me what I do with the extra when I make big portions. Very rarely is there extra. Very often I'm cooking for multiple people. Plus I like to have leftovers for a few meals to eat for myself. Um, but this one does not, a lot of the ones I make do freeze well. This one does not freeze particularly well because of the potatoes in it. Because when frozen they get kind of a, a mushy texture that doesn't hurt anything. It would still be edible. They're just not particularly appealing then. So just FYI on that. But I'm just going to chop these up and Okay, there is our last potato. Like any other soup, and one of the fun things about doing your own cooking, you could, of course, put anything you like into, uh, you know, a pot of broth. But this is one of the combos that I really like. So we've got the potatoes starting to cook in there. And we're going to add green beans. You could do frozen green beans. Um, there happened to be some fresh ones at the grocery store that were not too bad looking for the time of year. So I just, again, I kind of like snapping these into bite-sized pieces. You could cut them up, you could lay them whole, you could chop them up really fine. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, turn them into um, individual bites. That's, that's my preference. And every now and then there's a stem end left on one. So it's nice to check for that because those are just kind of tough and woody. But I'm just going to snap all the green beans in here while the potatoes are already cooking. Oh, and while it's doing that, I'm going to add a little salt. Good unrefined salt with all the different minerals you need in there. This is a pretty big pot. So let's do a couple teaspoons of salt. And... This is kind of a nice, a uh, little bit of a lighter soup uh, for spring, if our weather is actually being very springy. 
and I plan to have it for dinner with some fresh baked bread which is rising over there behind the camera. But this will also make, well the bread will too, a few good meals before it runs out again. And you could do this with potatoes and peas, that's another good one. Um, basically again whatever you like. That's one of the reasons that I encourage you all to to learn to do your own cooking because it's so much more fun to make everything just exactly the way you actually like it. So just going to snap these into here and then there's one final ingredient that goes in here. I think the original recipe years ago had called for ham. I don't, um, I, well, I very rarely eat any pork, so I have for a long time used, ever since I was growing up actually, um, turkey ham. Just, it's obviously turkey and not ham, but it's shaped like a ham and it's a little bit of a similar flavor and it's just, I, I really enjoy it with this particular soup. But you could certainly leave this um, vegetarian. I guess to make a vegetarian you'd have to use a, a veggie broth instead of a bone broth. Um, you could leave it meat free or you could put in whatever other varieties you would like. But the way I do this is broth, salt, potatoes, green beans, and a little bit of turkey ham which you may or may not be able to find in your local grocery store. Most seem to stock it. But that's going to be my delicious soup for dinner tonight. Oh, and look, the sun's even trying to come out outside. It's popped out a couple times today, but it's mostly just been gray and just kind of not raining, but just mist in the air. And like I said, snow just up above us. So that's uh, good soup and bread making weather. The wood stove is going. I'm just about to have to split some more firewood. My full bin has lasted me from November till almost June before I start in on the next year's firewood supply. If you have both green beans and potatoes in your garden. This can be a really good early summer soup, which some of you guys are going to be to early summer soon. I'm still trying to get to spring, but because uh, the first new baby potatoes and the first green beans tend to often be ready about the same time. And so this is a, an excellent recipe to make then because you have everything hopefully fresh out of your own garden. Or, of course, lacking a garden, you can go to the grocery store and get the ingredients, which is what I did for this one. Here's the end of the green beans. A stir. It's starting to all steam and start to cook underneath there. Which is such pretty vibrant colors with gold potatoes and bright green green beans. And again I'm simply going to cut this into kind of bite-sized chunks to add to the soup. If you like pork, you could again, kind of like the bean soup, you could do like a whole ham hock or something like that in here. Or as I mentioned, you could just do a veggie broth and the veggies and make it a vegetarian one. There we go.
And that is everything for our soup. So just going to let this simmer here for just a little bit. And I may have to add a little bit of water um, to make that enough liquid to cook everything together. But I've pretty well maxed out my pot there and what it can hold. So we're just going to let that simmer and in about 15 minutes or so everything will be soft and ready to eat. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.